Next, we're going to work exercise 5-7, which is one of those target profit analysis. So, very similar to doing break even, but instead of having a zero for our profit, we'll have our target for our profit. So, we're using the same equation and it's it's if you could do exercise 5-6, you'll be fine with 5-7. Calculate the unit sales needed to attain a target profit of $10,000. All righty. Um well, we need to know what they're selling for. Okay, so we got 120 selling for, variable is 80, fixed is 50,000. Okay, very simple. All right, so I went ahead and wrote down our equation. Profit is still, it hasn't changed. Unit contribution margin times the quantity sold minus fixed. So um, we're still solving for Q, right? We want to know what quantity do I need to sell to get to a profit. The only difference is we're going to put our target profit there instead of zero. So in this case, the target profit is $10,000. Right? So that's equal to our unit contribution. Do I need my sales price? $120. And I need my variable, 80 right uh, times Q still and minus uh, 50,000 all right so um, going ahead and reducing it down 10,000 is equal to um, let's see that's 40 40 Q minus 50,000 so um, Bringing that over here, bringing that over here, we're going to get uh, 40Q is equal to 10,000 plus 50,000. And so therefore divide both sides by Q. I'm sorry, by 40. What am I doing? Divide each side by 40. Right? And uh, that leaves me with Q equals... Uh, 60,000 divided by 40 is 1,500. All right, so there you go. So there's my units. Um, it wants to know uh, unit sales. So there we go. I get, oh, that's it. We're done. 1,500 units. Okay, we're done. What's part two? Calculate dollar sales target of 15,000. Okay, so we're starting instead of 10,000, it's 15,000, but everything else is the same, right? 15,000 um, is equal to, I'm just going to write 40Q um, minus 50,000, right? I'm not going to rewrite all of that. And so then we get um, 40Q is equal to 65,000, right? I bring that over here. Uh, 15,000 plus 50 is 50, 65,000. Divide each side by 40. And so I get Q is equal to 65,000 divided by 40 is 1625 units, right? So that's the units. The question wants dollar, right? dollar sales. So, um, well then you just take your units 1625 times what you sell them for which is 120, right? 1625 units times 120 dollars per unit uh, you multiply those and that's 195,000. Alright, there you go. All solved up.